Hi, my name is Monique Ipasa and I am from Balance Your Energy by VitalTouch.com. Welcome and thank you so much for tuning in into day number 13 of my 30 day video challenge, which I call Tap into my 30 marvelous M tips to help you become a marvelous master of creating more of what you do love. The magical power of M words. Yes, because during these 30 video series, I challenged myself to come up with 30 words that start with the letter M as in my name, Monique, with the sole intention to help help and inspire and uplift and empower you to help all of us raise our vibration so that I can truly make a wonderful difference in your life and in mine as well. So, would you love to know today's marvelous M word? Well, it's one of my favorites. Massage. Now, this is really a territory that is really familiar to me because for the last 18 years, I truly have had the pleasure and the privilege of literally touching people's lives, hundreds of them, through my massage practice, which is based here in the Netherlands called Massage of the Life Vital Touch, and I truly enjoyed doing that. I'm still enjoying doing that. As a matter of fact, this afternoon I had a massage client and it really was necessary. <laughs> but any which way, you know, I could share with you the wonderful benefits that a wonderful massage, you know, has when you are being massaged. But today I would love to give a different perspective on the word massage because yes you can be massaged through physical touch but what if you would use massage as a tool to massage your mind to massage the language your words you know the language the what you yourself talk the words that you use every single day are you aware of the words that you're using on a daily basis? And are the words that you're using, are they coming out of love? Or are they coming out of fear? I would love to show you that picture that I shared with you in video number two when I talked about the marvelous M-word magnet. Well, here it is again. I show you the relationship between the words and your results in your life. So for those of you seeing this picture for the first time, you see your four boxes going from the left to the right. And it goes like this. So the words that we use every single day in every conversation, and whether that is with a person or just talking to yourself in your own mind, the words that you use form the thoughts that we think and all the stories that we have about life. And the thoughts that we think cause us, invokes from within a certain vibe that we are sending into the universe, positive and negative ones. And there's a universal law known as law of attraction that matches those vibes that we are sending with results that are like that. Now, what's a vibe? Vibes come from the longer word vibrations and means your moods and your feelings. So, yeah, and you see your picture. I tried to draw a magnet. This was from video number two, where I said, well, this is where the magnet comes in. So... For example, you wake up in the morning and you really wake up with a bad headache and it's just like, oh my gosh, this is just so awful. I would prefer to stay in bed all day, but I can because I have that important meeting and otherwise it would be too 
um, too, 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 too late to uh, give notice of that and people are waiting for me so I really need to get out but if I'm honest I just would stay in bed oh, and then with that feeling you go out of bed and you know you're in this negative spiral like oh my gosh I need to take a medicine and oh just don't talk to me right now because I cannot handle it and one thing leads after another and sure enough you take that medicine maybe you feel a bit better but because you already started with that kind of conversation in your mind chances are that you are going to experience and attract results to you that match that mood and vibration that you're in so for example the kids are you know waking up too late and they are angry because you didn't wake them up even earlier or um, I don't know your car won't um, start when you turn on the engine something like that whereas if you would wake up in the morning and it's like oh mm, oh I had the most fantastic joys restful night and I feel so alive and awake and I'm ready for this day because for example it's my birthday and oh I'm so excited and I bought this fantastic birthday cake and you come you know go go down to the living room and your kids start to sing for you and they have wonderful presents for you and it's like yeah I love my life this is really good and exciting and you know all day long people are calling you and maybe you even meet someone at the grocery store that day that you haven't seen for a long time and it's like hey how are you so what's up and you tell that it's your birthday oh wow and then you say would you come along with me care for a drink oh yeah and then you know you start having this wonderful rich conversation and it's just ah, you truly feel happy and blessed and everyone is laughing and smiling and wow that's a different kind of energy that you're in. So, what I wanted to say about massaging your mind, first of all, before I continue my story, let me ask you, have you any idea which three words are used most often by many, many people, like maybe hundreds of times every day before lunchtime? And those three words aren't actually very serving to them, aren't serving them at all. In fact, they were kind of counterproductive. Those are these three words. Don't, not, and no. Now, be honest with yourself. How many times do you catch yourself every single day using these three words? I give you an example. If you have kids, for example, little small children, you say to them, don't slam the door, don't run around the house, don't touch that stuff, don't, you know, smack your sister in the face, don't use that language to me, you know, or no, you are not allowed to do this. Here's the thing. The universe these invisible laws that we do not see, smell, taste and touch, but they are definitely here. The universe does not understand the meaning of these three words. So everything that comes after these three words, like don't slam the door, the universe actually sees that as a request to slamming the door. Just like your kid, by the way. <laughs> So if you say, don't slam the door to your kid, your kid doesn't hear that word don't, only hear slam the door. So he's going to slam the door, even though you wanted something else. Interesting, isn't it? So my tip would be, in this massaging thing of your minds and the words that you use, is to eliminate these three words or replace it 
with something else. So, and what I use when I catch myself using these three words, I use this. My reset five button. Who? What's that? I'm gonna put it here, like. Meh. So every time I hear myself say, "Don't do this," I I don't like that, or I pfft, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. That's not going to be it. I take a moment, take a deep breath, and then I press my reset button, and then I ask myself. So what do I want? So if you don't want your kids to slamming the door, you stop, you pause, you press your reset button and you ask yourself, so what do I want? Well, you want the kids to close the door quietly, for example. If you say to your kids, don't run, stop and pause, take a deep breath, Press your reset button and ask yourself, so what do I want instead? I want my kids to just slow down and walk. Because that's nicer, you know, that's safer, whatever. So that's the way to start to massaging the words that you're using. And you can turn it around because guess what? When you change, sorry, <laughs> when you change the words that you are using and the thoughts that you're thinking, your vibe is going to change from negative to positive. And therefore, the results that you attract into your life will change as well. So, I know this video is already past the 10 minute mark, but I don't care. This is my video. This is my way of expressing myself uniquely to you because I would really love to know from you. First of all, have you ever had a physical massage and did you enjoy that? What were your what was your experience of that? Or maybe you are a professional massage practitioner yourself. And thirdly, what is your idea about my suggestion to massage your mind and your words as well? In order for you to line yourself up with what you do prefer instead and see the results coming that match that. Okay, let me know. I would truly love to engage in a wonderful, marvelous conversation about that. And if any of my videos resonate with you that you really enjoyed watching and truly learned from, what was your aha moment, for example, I would love to know as well. And if you know someone in your life that you feel might benefit also from any of my video series so far, then please feel free to share. I would truly appreciate that highly. So thank you again for watching and I will catch you tomorrow for day number 14 with yet another marvelous M word. Bye for now.